This is the first room that I have uh, attempted to prime. I picked up a um, sprayer, one of these monsters here. Uh, I think that's not it there. Flex 990. This was from Home Depot. There's another um, brand at approximately the same price. I, I couldn't see anything on the box that suggested one was materially better than the other. Um, I guess it did okay. It gets the paint on the walls. But I found it was still necessary to go back afterwards with um, this thing to flatten out the paint. If you If you rest it for more than five or 10 seconds, actually, uh, it, it splatters. The first time you hit the trigger, it just puts goo everywhere. So then you, you just don't have a choice. You have to go back and, and smooth it out. And I was kind of hoping to avoid orange peel. That's why I had a sprayer. And it doesn't avoid orange peel at all. And, okay. More issues with the mudding and taping, so. I think that's just paint. It's not a mudding problem. But at any rate, it's not the level of quality I was hoping for. It is the first time I've ever used the machine. It's the first room in the house that I'm priming. So maybe I could have expected something not so great. But um, yeah, I'm not terribly impressed with the mudding and taping. Yeah. We're at the point now where I may just take it back, do it myself. Anyway, yes, I'm sure it'll look better, much better after another coat. Um, I don't know. You go to the home store, you pay, I think this thing was like 300 bucks plus uh, tax. <clears throat> and it's probably unreasonable to expect that the first time I take it out of the box and use it, that I'm going to get professional results. But that kind of is why you spend any money at all right now. Um, the quality is no better than I would have achieved had I spent considerably less money on a roller. So I can't say that uh, I recommend necessarily a sprayer, certainly not when you're working alone. If you've got somebody who comes along immediately behind you before the primer dries and flattens it out, great. Uh, that might work just well. You use the sprayer just to get the crap on the walls. Okay, that seems to be something that it's pretty strong at. So you can do the entire room without stopping. But when you're working alone, you have to stop in order to flatten everything out and then, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So not terribly impressed. Anyway, that's that.